Hey everybody, how's it going? Tom here from Attack on Cardboard, and we are playing in the Early Access event, thanks to Wizards of the Coast. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into some of the decks we'll be playing tonight. So first up, we have a Fight Rigging deck, looking to abuse this bad boy here, Arch Fiend of the Dross. A 4-mana, 6-6, six, six, with flying, Archfield Dross enters the battlefield with four oil counters on it. <clears throat> At the beginning of your upkeep, remove an oil counter from the Archfiend of Dross. Then, if it has no oils, oil counters on it, you lose the game. And whenever a creature and opponent control dies, its controller loses two life. So, first of all, it's a four mana 6-6 six, six with flying. And while, yes, we'll lose the game if... All of the oil counters are removed from it at the beginning of our upkeep but if we hit someone with this just three times that's 18 damage we're gonna kill them before we lose the game or they just you know remove this creature so archfiend of dross is an absolute boss uh, and of course this combos very nicely with Fight Rigging, 3 mana enchantment from New Capenna, uh, has Hideaway 5, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature you control. Then, if you control a creature with power 7 or greater, you may play the Exiled card without paying its mana cost. So putting a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Archfiend of Dross turns it into a 7-7, seven, seven, meaning we immediately get to play whatever we have hidden under Fight Rigging. Uh, and of course, to ramp into the Archfiend of Dross, we've got Armored Scarab Gorger, a 2 minus 0, 3, that gets plus 3 plus 0 oh, as long as it has 3 or more oil counters on it. Doesn't really come up too much. Has tap, add 1 mana of any color. And whenever Armor Scape Gorger becomes tapped, exile target card from a graveyard and put an oil counter on Armored Scrap Gorger. So not only is it a mana ramper, it's also graveyard hate, which sometimes comes up. Uh, aside from that, removal, go through a throat, very good. Uh, we've got Gwenna, Eyes of Gaia. 2-3 uh, three for 3, that says add 2 mana of any combination of colors, spend this mana only to cast creature spells or activate abilities of creature cards. Whenever you cast a creature spell with 5 power or greater, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Gwenna and untap it. So once again, we've got the bad boys here. Archfiend of Dross goes great with Gwenna. You can play out... Uh, I think I've had one game where I played out two Archfiends of Dross on turn four. <laughs> and then played a third one on, on, on turn five. Uh, ridiculously good with multiple Archfiends. Uh, next up, we've got Bloated Contaminator. This guy is an absolute beast. A three mana, four four with Trample, Toxic 1, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, we get to proliferate. So not only do we get to proliferate the plus one plus one, uh, sorry, the Toxic counters, uh, Poison counters, we get to proliferate plus one plus one counters that we get from Fight Rigging in Gwenna. We get to proliferate the Oil counters if somehow we are not winning the game with this card, we get to put more Oil counters on it. Uh, oh, one other thing with Archfiend of Dross, um, unlike cards like the vegetable dinosaur, the Toporary Stomper, this thing can block. So we can play it on turn 3 or 4 and it, it can immediately block. Unlike some of these other larger cards that have drawbacks of it being tapped. Um, yeah, just really good card. You'll, you'll see how well. Uh, moving up, we've got Root Wire Amalgam. Uh, we can just play it as a 2 mana 2 3. Uh, or what we want to do is just chuck it down for 5 mana, uh, which also triggers Gwenna, and it's obviously got that activated ability, the way we can make it a 15-15. Or, of course, if we put some fight rigging counters on it, it's going to get pretty big. Uh, Tolvard's Huntmaster, just an excellent card to ramp into. Not much needs to be said about this card. We've got Nissa, the newest most badass Planeswalker. So for 7 mana, we get a 7 loyalty Planeswalker that can instantly 
Oh my, I need to move her over here. That can instantly ultimate. Um, so let's quickly go over these abilities. So plus one, create an XX Phyrexian Horror creature token where X is Nissa's loyalty. So we get to put the loyalty counter on it and then it becomes the XX. And now I initially thought this was a, I got them confused. I initially thought the token would be um, Star Star where it would constantly check uh, Nissa's loyalty. No, it's similar to Ren and Seven where the token comes down, it sees how much loyalty Nissa has, and that's its power and toughness. It, it doesn't change. Uh, negative one, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Really solid ability. And minus seven, until end of turn, creatures you control get plus one, plus one for each forest you control and gain trample. Uh, being able to give Archfiend a Dross, Trample, or the 15-15 that we get from Root Wire Amalgam is really, really good. Um, we're running only five forests plus the Proving Grounds. Um, so usually when this is Ultima goes off, we're usually getting just classic overrun stats. So plus three, plus three. Um, but the Trample is the key here. Uh, outside of that, just a typical land base we're running. One Beseju, one Takanuma, Proving Grounds, and Mishra's Factory just for a free, easy beat stick. Um, so, without further ado, let's jump into the game. Alrighty, game one. So, we've got two lands, the Archfiend, we've got Gwenna, we're on the play. If we draw one more land, this hand is nuts. All right, let's risk it for the content. We'll start off with the wastes. Worst case, we got root wire on two. Oh man. All right, root wire on two. Are we playing against rats? Oh. Better to be lucky than to be good. Blight Belly, Toxic 1. When Blight Belly rat dies, proliferate. Damn. Better to be lucky than good. So again. The counters on here don't matter, because it's either going to deal the damage, or it's just going to die. Here we go. Question is, do we... Gains haste... I think we... We boot up the root wire here, do we? No, we probably don't. We probably save niche, um, our removal spell for Nishi here. Play a land. Just one more land and our Tolvars are going to take over the game here. Kuramonix, Rat King. Other rats you can have, uh, other rats you control have Toxic 1. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top 5 cards. Put a rat among them into your hand. Uh, okay. I think we're going to have to kill Kuramonix here. And block the Nashi. Wow. Wow. Top X, another Kuramonix. Um, if he's just attacking with Nashi, we are just going to destroy Nashi. Guys, what did I say? Better to be lucky than to be good. And I don't know how the rat deck is going to deal with this.
Rat. Rat. Rat is not going to do it, I'm afraid. Let's get in with the crew. Boom. There we go, game one. Alrighty, here we go, going into game two here. And unlike the last hand, this is a snap key. We've got our three lands, we've got our fight rigging, we've got our bloated contaminators. Let's do this. Font of progress, enters the battlefield, ooh, we're up against mill deck. We'll hang on to Beseju here. This looks like a very interesting deck. We're going to play the Takanoma here just because we may need the Beseju. Now, there is the bounce spell that proliferates. Yep, yeah, Serum Snare. Here comes Jace. So we're gonna play play Proving Grounds. The question is, do we want to go Gwenna? I think we still go Bloated Contaminator. Fine, we're gonna drop our fight rigging here. We are going to hide. I think we're just gonna hide another fight rigging underneath it, to be honest. I think we kill Jace, or at least try to. I think we can play the Besaidu here and put down Armor Scrap Gorger. Mind Splice Apparatus, Flash at the beginning, upkeep, instance of sorcery spells cost one less for each, each counter. The race is on. We have got another Contaminator. I don't know if we're exiling anything here. Let's just get our beat sticks on the board. We're gonna get rid of Jace, get an oil counter, play on land. Ah, we could have put it on. Ah, it doesn't really matter. Consuming tides. Return. Choose an online permanent control. Return all non permanents this way to the owner's hand. Then draw a card for each. Uh, so, what do we keep out here? Yeah, we have to keep the bloated contaminator because he gets the enchantment back either way.
We are going to kill this thing now. Play out Contaminator. And we're going to hang on to the Proving Grounds. As we might need some card draw. So this, is, this artifact is, is great. As long as... As long as our opponent has got some uh, card draw to go with it, which doesn't look like they do. Nissa here would be nice. Oh yes, let's take a Nissa. Play Gwenna. So once again, we need some card draw. Otherwise, not really doing much. That is a big boy. All right, let's play the root wire amalgam. Alright, we're getting our Nyssa next turn. Thirty-six cards, we are fine. And straight to that combat step. One Nissa, please. And... I think we're just going to get rid of... I feel like the font card... He's going to draw into an extra spell and it's just going to destroy us. That's fine. Now that we've got the Nissa on the field, really run away with the game here. Draw a card. Nice. Alright, let's get down another fight rigging. We have root wire amalgam. Then if you control a creature, okay. We do control a creature with seven. We get the five version, thank you. Get rid of that consuming tide. Damn, I think we got it. Okay. Keep Nissa out. If 
fight rigging. We'll get the Tolva fight rigging. We'll get the fight rigging. <laughs> We'll get the Archfiend. Cast the Huntmaster. Think we got there. If any of our creatures die, we we get the old Drust Triggers. I think we might kill them here. Woo! On to the next one. Alrighty, here we go, game number three. And... If we draw another Archfiend, Gwenna is going to be amazing here. Gwenna, I mean, even if we don't, just Gwenna into Archfiend into Fight Rigging, and we maybe cast the Nissa off of Fight Rigging. Defector Might. This card is really good. Um, yeah, Death Camp. So this is Mum, but with Phyrexian Mana and Toxic. We should be fine here. If As long as Gwenna doesn't die, we're actually in really good shape. And if we draw an untapped land, we get to play two Archfiends next turn. There's a, another Gwenna. So, I think we still do play both Archfiends. Okay. Archfiend, you got more removal. I mean, now we can't block. Because of Defector Might. Yep, can't block. Toxic 2. So, I think we are going to lose the game. Um, so, it's got four attacks. So, with Root Wire, we can potentially block one here. Even then, that's not going to do it. Need to be able to kill two of them. Nissa doesn't do it. Uh, 
I mean, I guess we'll see. If he's got removal, that's just it. Okay, Mondrak. Okay, yeah, you can you can choose black, but my colorless creature can block it. Not a green creature, my dude. Poor. So. I think we need to fight rigging. Let's see what we get. Oh, my word, Tolvar here is amazing. So, Tolvar... And I think we still play the root wire. Blockers for days. Now the question is, do we attack for the Arch Fiend? I think we do. This sets up lethal for next turn. Did we just get there? He's got removal for my root wire. Oh my word. Yeah, we lose. Damn, that was a close game. So, if we held back, we might have been able to win that. But, tough game. All right, one more. And not too bad of a hand. Got a two drop with the root wire if we need to. Piece of removal, Arch Fiend, Tolvar. If we draw any of our mana ramp here, this will be good. Evolving Adaptive. Oh my word, we drew some ramp. It's bigger when stuff that is bigger than it comes into play. So, aggro deck. Uh, so, we'll keep up, go for the throat here. So, what does this guy do? He gets plus one, plus O for each oil counter. When it enters the battlefield, put it into the graveyard. Do we just play our root wire here? I think we do. Root wire at the very least blocks everything. Oh, these aren't plus one plus one counters, these are oil counters. Churning reservoir. So he's playing adaptive oil deck. Fine, we can take the hit. Gwenna. We've actually got the Gwenna combo here. Gwenna into Archfiend into Archfiend. Yeah, so probably not blocking here. And you're about to witness the power of Gwenna and Archfiend here. So, Archfiend the first. We're gonna have to play this. Archfiend the second.
you go. This is a really nice combo. Evolving Adaptive, Churning Reservoir. This Dominus is non-combat damage. Nothing has reach. So, I mean, that looks like they just might die. Green, Huntmaster. I'm not missing anything, right? Nothing deals non combat damage. Do we cast the root wire? Probably not. Goodness, this doesn't have um, trample. Deals double that, and that's non combat damage. So, playing green for the fight spells. I'm getting in with the team. So, yeah, let's not block the Dominus. It's basically a four mana massacre worm. So there we go. Fight rigging dot deck. There is definitely some potential here with Archfiend of Dross. Do not sleep in this card. Either it kills your opponent or they kill it. So it's drawback, literally doesn't matter. Nissa performing as well as as you know everybody thought. Absolutely fantastic card, provides blocker, destroys important uh, permanents, and can win you the game with the ultimate. Gwenna goes awesomely with Archfiend, Archfiend goes awesomely with Fight Rigging. Bloated Contaminator, while we didn't play it in too many games, it's still a ridiculous threat. I think I'm crafting this deck day one, this, this looks really nice. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Stay tuned for more All Will Be One content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.